Okay, so today we're going to check out a Kyo with another news video. White people are irresponsible and selfish. Niji Sanji VTuber under fire for remarks. And I have my friend on here. So you introduce yourself. We got Kyo Flow here to put his own opinion on things. I'm not exactly, honestly, I'm not really sure about what my opinions on this is. I'm a little bit like unsure. Like, I, I don't like I'm a bit unsure on this topic specifically so I wanted to get um somebody else's opinion so that's why we have a chaotic flow on here to uh you know to, to discuss here as well and also we got we got Chateau as well oh wait Sorry, I had, a, I had a muted shit. They have been proven wrong. As over the course of the last day, we've had a lot of Nichi Sanji VTubers come out with messages for fan artists and people selling merch, you know, due to the story that we covered earlier today. That story involving a merch artist that apparently received a lot of backlash at a convention from people really upset with Nichi Sanji, made some uh, remarks against their merchandise, and made that person upset. Many more fan artists came out and said that it's been hard to draw Nichi Sanji right now due to the hate that they may be receiving. This caused a lot of Nichi Sanji members. I think the reality is like in any like in any form like way of like when like something like this happens in any form of controversy I think this is like it's naturally going to just happen like that's sort of like the reality of things and I, I was seeing like responses about the you know the 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 art the fan artist or what do you call it yeah the fan artist um who made who made that that thread and you know people were kind of like Oh well, you know, it's it's. I don't know if it's necessarily harassment, but I mean, if it, it I feel like it depends. Because I'm not. Because I saw people saying like, oh, like it's not harassment. It's just criticism. It's just the thing of like, I'm not. I wasn't physically there. Like we weren't there physically. So I feel like it's like it's kind of hard to tell in that aspect of things. It's, like, it's in person, right? Like, and you can say like, oh, like you know, from what they were saying, like they were making comments, but we don't know the extent of what these comments are or like how the people like actually engaged in like the gossiping or, or talking to them. So it's like, sort of like for me, it's like up in the air of like, okay, did these, pers did pe these people actually harass them? It's like, but in a sense, I wasn't physically there. So I'm not like, I didn't see what happened and like, very much so it could it could in the context of like maybe they kept on like egging this person on and not leaving because that is a form of harassment if they're just staying at the at their booth and like you know consistently quote unquote you know criticizing them and egging them on and continuously you know barraging them with like comments and if they got told to leave and they didn't leave that's that is a form of harassment inherently someone compiled clips of uki saying racist stuff i did see that um the, i don't know the thing is is like some of those things is like you know stuff on stream and i don't necessarily like to me they just seem more like jokes like some of them and we can watch that a bit later but i am not really like one to use inherently like say oh that's like blatant racism i think that's a little bit um like that that's that's a lot to say like to just be like oh like yeah it's it's blatant racism i'm not like in that clap crowd to like specifically like say that maybe you could say it's a little bit insensitive i don't know um it's just inherently like what you sort of gauge on that or what you personally think to tweet out replies to this and you know encourage artists and thank them which people are calling an awful pr move and saying that this was all fake and that the person that posted the merch thing was a manager for niji sanji that's a whole kind of worms i'm not going to open but that that's a thing that you can research if you want to look into that i might talk about it on the stream but it's not relevant for what we're going to be talking about today so first let's take a look at some of the replies that the vtubers of niji sanji have made we had maria marionette saying thank you artist i'm always excited to see the fan art you draw and i hope you will be able to draw what you want whenever mm. you want as well Raymu indo said come here artist i just bought nutella i'll share you a spoon of nutella just for this time one time only uq wilson said also never let anyone bully you into stopping drawing what you are passionate about zion got terminated because of a joke but it's okay if it's uki it depends on like what joke it is right no one's saying that like, you can't make jokes and inherently there are niji members who make edgy jokes like literally Niji cancelled existed as like a concept right and they made very like inherently like quote unquote like council counselable like 
edgy sort of jokes and humor. It, it's sort of like, I don't necessarily think you can like say, oh, well, this person got terminated for making a joke, so why did this person not? Because it's, it's different situations and it depends on the, you know, what joke you made, what did you say? And also it's how did you respond after that happened, right? Um, it's it, it's different situations and it could be different contexts, you know. So, you know, I don't really know in that aspect of things, you know. Fan art is the cutest shit ever. And then we get to Uki Violetta who tweeted out, Thank you, artist. Know that you are amazing and you should be proud of your work. You are so loved and appreciated. People who spread negativity have already made up their mind, so don't let a few bitches define your worth and your skill. Keep doing what you love. And you know, this tweet on its own about the situation isn't all too big of an issue. Mm -hmm. The issue lies in a response that Uki receives saying, What do you think about straight white men? Remind us of your opinion about straight white men. Please, Mr. Positivity and Love Spreader. In which Uki responded, they're just- The jokes are completely different topics, one of which was triggering to livers. They're not the same and can barely be compared. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like innately, especially in the context of how she made the joke. And, you know, like she was literally playing a game where, I'm, I'm pretty sure right in the game, the, the girl in the game got R-worded and then- Zion said that joke, and just like, just innately, like, in that context, that can be triggering, and that is, like, it can potentially be triggering to chat to people, it's innately insensitive, it's innately of offensive, and I think it is a lot more, like, like, blatant and crossing the line than this is, this is ever, like, I don't think these are comparable, I don't, I don't necessarily think that, I mean, what do you think, Flo? Yeah, um, I think both are wrong. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's not really about, like, I guess it can't always say, like, oh, two wrongs make a right. It's not really about, like, oh, who's right and who's wrong. It's yeah, just, like, um, yeah. This person in chat saying, making it clear they're making fun of a specific type of white person and those offended should do some self-reflection. I think you need to do some self-reflection, a good sir, because both are wrong. Both are wrong. Sure, the s severity might be different compared by the context using these two examples, um, but at, in general, at the root, both are wrong. Whether it's you know Yuki, uh, Uki, sorry, making making fun of white people, or or the other one with Zion, both are wrong in general. And um, obviously, this one, it's not like. For Uki, it's not like it's terrible or anything, but it is it is wrong and it's very ignorant. Yeah, I mean, at I would yeah. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that like oh this means it's a racist, but I can see it in the sense of like you could say it's a bit inherently um it, it's stereotyping like you are you are innately like stereotyping based off of you know, like, a, a race or based on, like, you know, straight cis white men, that sort of thing, which can innately be a bit, a bit, I guess, inherently ignorant or, uh, insensitive. But I, yeah. yeah, but I can, I can understand from, like, you know, as somebody who, I'm not white, I'm, I'm, what makes I'm mixed, I'm, like, half Asian, I can understand from, like, the standpoint of, like, you know, Oh yeah, like making jokes to like white people, that sort of thing. Um, and like, of course, that I don't think it does have the same sort of severity level or weight behind it, just like s systemically. But wait, wait, U is Uki white? No, Uki's Asian. Um, behind it, but that's, that doesn't necessarily mean I guess it's right. Like, even if it's like, oh, well, maybe. They, it's probably worse if you said about black or Asian people, obviously, but I guess it doesn't necessarily make it better, I guess? It doesn't. Because whether whether it's Yuki, who's Asian, making fun of a white person, or a white person making fun of Uki, who's an Asian yeah. person, both are wrong. Mm. And uh, you're talking about, like, systemic racism and how one is more affected than the other. Well... Well, obviously, there's examples of one being more potent than the other, which is 
pretty obvious in in our world's history um it doesn't it doesn't it really doesn't mean that it's not racist at the end of the day yeah i'm i'm not just saying like inherently how i think people sort of view it in the context of like like these kinds of like you know racism or stereotyping like it can have more weight or it could potentially do a lot more damage in the context of like you know for like um other like you know people of color because innately like yeah like you aren't going outside as a white person like most of the time obviously it can happen but and you're not like fearing for your life in the in comparison to like asian or black people it's just not in the in western society that is not happening as much and i think just because of that sort of like context i think that is sort of why inherently people feel like oh this like white people jokes are okay because like oh well, you as a white person aren't oppressed or like you know it's you, you a aren't cultural thing yeah like it's not as much oppression but the reality is in some contexts like racism white racism can happen like in asian countries um like in japan people do like can discriminate against you as a white person in like Asian countries in like in like Japan um sometimes you know I've, I've seen like you know Connor talk about this where they try to go into like a bar and then they sort of say like no so you can't come into the bar it's not as like blatant like I don't think it's like physical of any kind but um I, I feel like it's ignorant to say that like racism against white people can just like never happen at all Obviously, um, it's a bit different in Western society in comparison to places like Asia, but I'm just saying in the context of, like, the world, it can happen. Absolute, absolutely. I mean, um, white people have been slaves in different parts of the world that's known in world history. Obviously, it's not, uh, not super known here in Western society, but that is something that is in history. It's, so it just it's this is a very cultural topic yeah um so yeah and so um he's making fun of people who have oppressed him his whole life i won't deny it's stereotyping most of us white fans are able to look at it and realize it's not about it's a uh, about us or not but the thing is though like i've been oppressed by white people basically all my life but i'm not i but i necessarily would not do that you know i mean like you said earlier putting evil with evil doesn't make it right yeah that's that's xenophobia the, the thing is right in inherently xenophobia can lead into racism because it is and it's inherently discrimination like that inherently that is right like yeah Nah, not buying it. This was a nothing burger. Uki should be humble, like when Enna clarified her joke wasn't racist, especially with the current PR state of Niji. I mean, to be honest, I don't think this is, like, crazy or, or like, oh yeah, this was, like, so racist. I mean, like, I I wouldn't take offense to this. I mean, there's been so much worse things said to me in my life, but it's like, you know, out of all the, the on, on the fucking internet, out of all of, like, the, the controversy of people being racist, this comment is pretty tame in comparison. Like, I would not say this is racist. I would say this is, like, stereo- this is, like, stereotyping more than I see it as racism. But let's just continue. As irresponsible and selfish as your response. Which is probably something that you shouldn't be replying when your agency is under a ton of backlash right now and has people looking at your- Yeah, that's that's also true. I think that um, the intensity of the backlash, I think, does have something to do with what's happening with the yacht sinking, basically. I don't know if the- like, I don't know if the backlash actually would be as big if, if it was, like, a different time. Maybe- I mean, I think maybe there would be some form of backlash for it, but, you know... 
company and all of the talents under a microscope because you know there are alleged cases of bullying inside of the company so making this reply is you know really childish and something that probably should not have been done because it's gotten responses from people saying racism and bullying alive and well in niji sanji others saying yeah i think niji Ian's current reputation is fully deserved i mean this to be expected Ian basically an ugly tweet with another ugly tweet doesn't make you look better i'd assumed you wanted fans of all complexions but this shows otherwise skin color doesn't make a person good or bad that's true toxic company and toxic yep. balance tale as old time damn being racist on main this dude is fearless and then another one that said niji ian is the gift that keeps giving just when i thought it couldn't get worse it turns out they employ racist too best pr i've ever seen and then another said well now we know how you feel about your white colleagues and then we had people you know laughing with uki and saying that it was fine and calling uki their oh she's still saying i'm white and i'm laughing my ass off lmao i love you uki and then we look at the quote retweets and again we have more people saying that uki is their oshi and encouraging uki to continue making jokes like these however other quote retweets come from people like rev says desu saying i think discriminating against people based on the color of their skin is wrong another person said racism of any kind has no place here niji sanji really is another breed of its own and then another person said this is the tweet that will kill this idiot's career expect a sudden video. okay that that that's not i don't think that's gonna happen i I, would they actually get self-suspended because of this? I don't think so. I, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I mean, I, mean, I don't uh, know. Wasn't Kyo suspended for the Korea statement? I feel like the Korea statement though is bigger. Like it was something that was done on stream. It was like said on stream. I think that one is bigger than this is. I feel like though, I don't. I suppose it really it just depends on the the man how the management sees yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And 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 also and obviously we do know that now self suspensions happen and no one can like say that's not true. Like I I initially said oh I don't think that's true, but now Nietzsche literally admitted it in their Zion termination letter that they said they self suspended her. So like self suspensions do happen. Like they literally said that they literally said we took Selene's um social media um access away and we tweeted on her behalf. So it yeah. it can happen real soon that does not mean to like speculate into like everything's a self-suspension but just saying that it's a realistic thing that can actually happen again i think uki yeah. definitely should have just you know ignored that comment and i, tweeted I think he should have too said, probably you know, he could have definitely just been joking about this but he should have just ignored it either way even if uki is joking it should have. i ignored, think it's i think it's a joke from him the predicament that the company is in all of the livers are being harassed and attacked and bombarded with tons of hate and people trying to find any reason to hate on the company and the yeah. livers trying to still find out who the bully of doki bird was people are upset with this company so making a reply like that that makes you look like yeah it was not good timing so stupid it is awful i don't know why uki would do it i get uki was probably just falling for the bait on purpose but again definitely should have just you know considered the circumstances and not done it especially because now people are digging up things that uki has said on previous streams digging up the many times that uki has mentioned white people and you know sounded slightly racist towards them here are a lot of those clips oh okay so, oh so okay so this is the compilation okay uh there's literally zero dollars <laughs> Oh. It's because the, yeah, my... the hosts are two okay. white people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wait, food and drink. Like, I feel like in that context of like just being like in a group on stream, like bantering the people, I see that as more of a joke. Like, I don't, I don't see that as like actual like racism. I, I see that as more of a joke, in my opinion. I, I feel like that's more joking. I mean, what do you think, Flo? Like that first one, I feel like that's I I see that as more like a joke. Uh, it really uh, it's hard to say because it really depends on how how consistent he's he does it. Right. Like, yeah. For like, an example, and if it's only white people that he's going after, and if he's doing it consistently, then it it brings more you know. Um. Mm -hmm. It makes it more convincing. Right. Like, is it a consistent he, he, behavior? Yeah. Yeah. PR classes are going to become mandatory for training in these agencies at this rate. That is, if they haven't already. I mean, PR classes should be in there 
already to in my opinion when you have this much of a, this big of a platform you should take pr classes like i think you should take some sort of pr training you sweet yeah he is <laughs> surprise white man does the bare minimum you're a fucking psychotic crazy white man you need to travel out of country for food mm -hmm. you know white people don't cook that good <laughs> what? You know how when like white people kiss? <laughs> I don't. What do you fucking mean? What? Like in the movies and stuff, when white people kiss, it's like they look like they're in pain. They, it looks like they like, don't want to like, do it. I don't understand what he means by that. I don't. I don't actually understand that. What does he mean by that? I generally am confused by that. White I think people want poking fun. I don't know. Like. Like fishes going on to each other and just sucking their faces. Not even fishes. It's like it's worse than fish. <laughs> Who does walk in one of the summer? It's so hot. I mean, no one does. I guess. White people. Now to hold on, to hold on. You're just walking around and then this old white couple passes by you and they're like, "Hello, whatever." And I'm like, uh, hello. <laughs> I think that, um, inherently it's a little bit weird in, like, this context. Like, why is he emphasizing that they're white? Like, what's the, en why, why, why is it the emphasis on that? I don't know why it's like, oh, this old couple, I don't know. But maybe it's in the context of describing them, I guess, I don't know. I don't know if it's innately, like, a, a joke, but I just feel like it's like, why, why is it, like, the emphasis on, like, Oh, the white couple walking past. Especially, well, especially since first he first he brought up that they're white, and he he's speaking in a manner of that he doesn't like that they're trying to speak to him. Um, assuming that they're white, you know, them being white people. Yeah, but I feel like sometimes it's a little bit like hard when I see these compilations because like. Yeah, okay, so this is like a like a three-minute compilation of times he said this probably in the span of like Possibly we don't even know like a year of like streams like like point could be like weeks or months in between So it, it like it may be like really like not often at all these made these jokes it's like, it's just in the context of when you make these compilations like I don't know exactly like what the timeline of the VODs you're picking these clips from, because it's very easy to nitpick things. Right, like, this could be, like, in the span of, like, a year. If he, if it's, he's made, like, a, it's a three-minute compilation of jokes on white people he's made in, like, the span of a year, that's not that much, like, at all. That's pretty minor. Like, that's not, uh, that's not, at that point, a uh, coherent, like, occasional thing. So in my opinion, if it shows, like, actual prejudice, or blatant racism, it is like a repeated behavior that's like, re re like actually like repeated, repeat, not like uh, occasionally he he makes like a joke here and there. So that's sort of like uh, why I'm like, oh, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, well, like, I don't really what know. I, what I think is, I would have completely blown it off if it was in a matter in a manner of joking, and obviously these clips are a bit out of context. Yeah. Perhaps. But, um, it's just the manner in the way that he's talking about white people that's mostly bothering me because it's not even really jokes. It's just, it's plain and simple insults. Um, like whether it's talking about, oh, white people can't cook, white people can't kiss, oh, he doesn't like that this white couple approached him and just said hi. Like, these aren't jokes. These yeah. Are, it's but, just being yeah. insulting. But then it's also kind of like, I, you know, it's it's the thing, like like you said, like, I don't know what the context leading up to that was. So it's like, it's because it's, we, I, I have a, like, a level of caution when I look at these sort of things. Because things like this very easily can be very nitpicked and taken out of context. And innately... This person that made this comparison are actively trying to find and and push this narrative that he's a racist. So I feel like they are inherently like trying to push a certain narrative 
with this compilation that makes sense inherently. So it's kind of like, I always sort of look, I'm not saying that it's, he's a, like, it's like th that this compilation is completely like invalid. I'm just saying that I kind of just have to look at these sort of things with a level, with a level of caution, if that makes sense. Yeah. No, I agree. Um, I wouldn't say he's 100% a racist just from no. some couple of clips or anything. It's definitely, well, it's it's just kind of a behavior from him that's kind of just been pointed out, I, I suppose, yeah. throughout his time in EG, but, you know, I can't really say he's racist Yeah, I would not say he's racist, no. I wouldn't say he's racist, in my opinion. I mean, of course, you guys can have your own opinions, but me, I personally don't think he is. I wouldn't, like, put that label on him and say he is. Because it's, like, how I sort of see it is, like, is it, like, malicious? Is it, like, coming from, like, actually, like, a form of actually, like, prejudice? That's sort of, like, how I sort of, like, in, in, in the context of me, from my experiences with racism, how I feel like how I would take something as racist is if somebody came up to me and, like, they said something to me, like, in a malicious sort of way. Like, obviously, like, yeah, people to me have said, like, really incentive insensitive jokes to me and they're you know they're like oh like as a joke yeah you eat cats and dogs obviously obviously it's fucking right like that's not um right at all but it's sort of just like um to me it definitely matters about like the way you're saying it um the context of what you're saying it, and what particularly you are saying and if it's a a constant behavior so it's like it's just hard to like put a conclusion on oh is he specifically racist from like a small compilation of clips? I don't know. I mean, honestly, though, you could convince one could convince me that these are quote unquote malicious statements because, like I said before, uh, oh, there's not context. I, I, I really don't think we you would need much context. Yeah. Um, because for example, the one before on the, uh, the separate clip I'm not too sure who he was collaborating with um, uh, but with the fishing but one? it's yeah oh yeah. I think it's uh, um, I think it's Bon Bon he's someone from I think that, I, was like, I think he's from um, I think he's from XID uh, okay um, but it sounds like he was caught off guard like it kind of just came out of nowhere mm. so um, I feel like I feel like um these are these could be labeled as a bit malicious statements, but then again, I can't fully say he's he's racist or anything based off just a couple of clips. Obviously, these are like these are clips that were taken throughout his years in Niji Sanji, um, and though know, they could be labeled as malicious and insults, and they could be labeled racist jokes. J can, can I even say jokes? Because they don't sound like jokes; they're just insults. But. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really it. So when you say Theo, it's, uh, see, so he said, it's not the jokes themselves, it's his attitude about it. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah I, I, yeah, I kind of feel like he does have a, like, a particular attitude when he, like, when he says things. Like, do you, do you sort of get that impression? Like, there's a sort oh, of... Oh, yeah, that's, that's why I said I can't even say that they're jokes, because yeah, it just sounds I guess, like insult. Because I guess it's like, it doesn't really sound sarcastic. You know, like innately, like yeah. if I was to say a joke like that, it would I think I would say it in more of like a a sarcastic way. You know, it's like like oh, you know, you're you're a cis white man. You know, it's like more like I'm I'm you know, it's like oh well, your opinion's invalid because you're a cis white man. It's like it's it's like okay, you know, it's like sarcastic in nature, but like when Uki's like the way he says it in some of these clips, it doesn't really feel like there's a level like a, of sarcasm or, like, joking nature behind it, and, and Uki is, like, monotone in, in nature, but I don't, I don't know, like, it doesn't, I don't, I didn't really like, feel like, necessarily, it felt like he was, like, joking, I don't know, like, in some of the, in some of the things that he said, or in, like, some of these clips, I don't know if you got that same impression? Oh, yeah, because they're, they're, at least in these clips that so far we've seen, I haven't detected a single like a, a bit of like humor or sarcasm in his voice. It's just like, yeah. hey, white people are bad at this. I didn't like the white people saying hi to me. 
and it was just kind of just like straight up just his statement just yeah. no sarcasm just yeah i mean because like as somebody who watches uki like to to an extent i know that's so it kind of is just how he is in general like he is just sort of like more like quiet and monotone and like laid back like he's not like energetic or he's not like 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 that so it's sort of like that thing where in in the sense of that like that may just be how he sort of is in in nature um the way he talks and the way he does things in general like it's not really like he's not like a luca he's not like when he makes a joke it's not necessarily like hype or, or energetic or you can really tell it's super sarcastic um so it's just like in that in that sense of like it could be a bit hard to like read him in that sense if that makes sense but yeah let, let's, i understand let's, yeah can I help you? Why did we don't know each other? Why did you say hello? Why are you smiling at me? <laughs> Why are you talking to me? What business do you have with me? And you know, by the time I'm thinking all these thoughts, they're like they've already moved on and walked down the street and kept minding their business. I'm sure the town had things to say. Um because you know all these white people are out here and it's just like where are all these asian people come from <laughs> is it like in his law to insult white people no that was like his law is but like the like the stars like you know what white people's hot dog sucks in more way than one <laughs> i'm just gonna say that right now Okay, that uh, that one, I think that one yeah. was a joke. <laughs> I that one was a joke. I I like I would make a joke like that. It kind of looks bad. Uh, yeah, it's rare his tone can be read as sarcasm and joke. Yeah, that's sort of what I, what I mean. Like it's his his he just has a like, it's just kind of the way he is. He he just looks... sort of talks like monotone and like softly in in a general sense. Like. It would match you if you were a pasty white person. Pasty white person, don't. Yeah, that's so I'm gonna click nah. that. <laughs> what does that what does that mean? Pasty white person. I feel like that's that's not even I don't again, out this is out of context, yeah. Right? Whatever. Um yeah. but like why do you have to say it like that? <laughs> Fucking scary ass, creepy ass white man. I hate you. There are apparently even more than those that I showed, and I'm sure, again, these are all just jokes at the end of the day, but you can never really know. It, it makes it sound believable that Uki doesn't like white people, but again, it's probably just jokes. Yeah. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt here. At yeah, least. I mean, I kind of, I kind of also want to give him the benefit of the doubt. Like, I don't, I would think he would be actually racist. I don't know. Honestly, my biggest problem with this is very simple. Uki says these jokes, no, no consequences. Zion says a similar joke. Everyone is on her throat. There's no favoritism, by the way. I don't know why you're trying to be sarcastic, Ben, my guy. Huh? I don't know why like, this commenter, why the one that you just talked about is trying to be sarcastic. I don't know. And even if it is a joke, I, I don't know if Uki's ever going to listen to this. Probably not. But you are a member of a company. You belong to Niji Sanji. You are their brand. You're the face of their brand. You should not be making comments like this because it's going to draw people away and cause more people to dislike your company because they're going to believe the company is allowing racists to join them. Again, I, I said this multiple times and I keep repeating it. Just consider the goddamn circumstances. If you want to make comments like that, go be indie. Who cares? I don't think people need to go out and harass Uki for this, but I understand why people are upset about this comment. It's going to feel even more hate because it was such a stupid comment to make. I don't think Uki is racist. That's all for me today, guys. So please let me know what you all think about that situation down below. And really quickly, I'd like to let you all know that- Okay, yeah, I mean, the conclusion is, I think it was- I think the tweet was just, like, felt very much so it's at the wrong time. Um, inherently, it is stereotyping. Um, you can see- like, yeah, if you could see it as insensitive, but I don't think of him- as racist. Uh, um, hundred uh, percent. You could like, like I said before, you could convince me some of the statements he's made are 
are racist, but I wouldn't label him. I'd say I'd still say it's a stretch to label him yeah. as a person as a as a racist person. The law statement is sarcastic. Yes. Well. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, okay. So let me know in the comments um what you guys uh think. Um, please do consider subscribing for more uh video news reactions and go and check out our Kiruk Flow. We have a link to his channel in the description down below.